Hey guys, welcome. This is Jordan with PictureMonk.com and welcome to the part two of the fantasy photography, fancy name for compositing. Um, and welcome to the uh, next tutorial part two. This is the final part where we kind of get to add all the little fun elements in. If you haven't seen part one, where we added in the uh, the background here, head on over to uh, the link on the screen, click on there, and it'll take you to the YouTube video there. So now that we have the uh, the stuff added in, the background, the mountains, and, and we have it color matched a little bit, uh, we're going to go ahead and add in the fog to the uh, the lake here. Now, I said we were going to do all of that in uh, Photoshop, and there's really easy ways to do it in Photoshop. One of the most popular is using uh, clouds, the clouds filter in Photoshop. And uh, the way you do that is just create a layer and go into Render and Clouds. And that will just add a uh, big old clouds layer right here. It doesn't look pretty at all. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, the black part out of the uh, the the um, the clouds here and just leave the white portions. And that's kind of what we want to create the fog. So to use that, we're going to do a, a blending mode. We're going to change the blending mode from normal, and we're going to change it to screen. And you can see the kind of effect it did there. Now it looks pretty darn gross, but we're going to use the adjustment layer like we did for the background there. And we're going to take the uh, uh, take the uh, paintbrush over here, change your paintbrush to black so you can paint away a little more and get a nice, uh, large, soft brush. And you're kind of just going to paint a little bit away. I know I don't want any fog over on uh, this area. And if I do, I can paint it back in, but I want it to be sort of minimal. So I'm just going to continue painting away some of this fog here. And because the brush is feathered, it's not so much of a hard transla uh, transfer here. So again, no fog in the sky, um, and I'm just going to paint away that, and kind of leave a little bit out there, but I kind of want it to just be in this area. I'm going to paint a little bit away there, okay, make sure none of it's on this dock here. So as you can see, we have the fog there. It's just in that little area. Uh, to make the fog sort of match the whole scene, I'm going to do a color filter. And that, I'm going to go to the adjustments pa panel down here, go to photo filter, and uh, clip, just like we did in part one, I'm going to clip this photo filter layer to the clouds layer. So again, I'm going to hold option or alt, uh, and I'm going to click between there. And now any, any adjustments I make will only work for the fog. So I'm going to take my filter up, and you can see how it changes there a little bit. It kind of gives it kind of like a, uh, a, morning, a morning sun feel. Maybe back it down a little bit. Maybe it's a little too much. But there you go. It kind of gives a morning, a morning uh, sun feel. So now I can even paint back in more fog if I wanted to. And uh, just to make sure it kind of uh, kind of gradually gets lighter down here towards the camera, I'm going to take my opacity of my brush and drop it down. And I can kind of just lightly paint like right there. That'll be good. All right, I kind of like that. So uh, that's, a, that's about it for the fog. That was pretty easy, and that's you know, all done in Photoshop. You don't need to go find a whole bunch of fog. Uh, fog filters or any stupid thing like that. All you got to do is go in there and go to uh, filter, render clouds, and there you go. You got your fog. So just like we did in the other ones, I'm going to group all these together by clicking uh, clicking both of them, clicking Command-G or Control-G, and I'm going to name this fog. All right. And now for the last step, we're kind of going to, or one of the last steps, we're going to add in the uh, the big sun here coming over the horizon. And that, again, is only done in Photoshop. And so what we'll do is we'll create another layer. We're going to change that. Uh, we're going to actually fill that layer full of black. And so what we'll do is we'll go to uh, Edit, Fill, and then change here to Black. All right. And now we're going to um, make a uh, sun flare, uh, and that can be done in Photoshop a couple different ways, but I like to use the render and then lens flare option. All right, and now with the dialog box pulled up, I'm going to change it to 105 prime. Uh, that one's sort of like a, a pure white burst. Now you can see all these other ones are kind of crazy. 
but I want it to be kind of white. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to take the, uh, the brightness down a little bit right around there. Maybe back it off a little right there. All right, and that'll put the sun flare right there. Uh, positioning really doesn't matter when you're doing this um, because we're going to end up moving it around anyway. So if you if you want to try to estimate where it's going to be, you can. I just go ahead and leave mine right there. Um, it, you know, kind of the default where it goes because I'm going to end up moving it anyway. So now I'm going to click on my blending mode, and I'm going to change it to screen, and that will take away all the black in there. So now I can move this up and move it to try to match. As you can see on the water, there's a little sun spot right here on the water. I'm trying to match the positioning of that. And I'm actually going to make it a little larger while I'm here. Just kind of make it right there. All right, there we go. And so uh, there's the sun right there that we're going to use. But I need to kind of blur it out. See these little sun, sun flares? right here I don't really like those too much so I'm gonna do a little bit of Gaussian blur on those yeah that's a little too much right around there and just click OK that'll apply the filter effect there okay and now the last kinda of step to get this um, this to match a little bit of the the colors in here is I'm going to do another photo filter and I'm going to clip it to the sun flare. So now I can change this up and make this really, really, really bright as far as the orange here. So it kind of matches the, the sun there. All right. And I kind of like the way that looks. Uh, the only thing that I'm going to do now is just to bring all of this together is I'm going to do another photo filter. And this photo filter, I'm not going to clip to anything. I'm just going to uh, make it go over the whole image. Uh, as you can see, it kind of... Uh, brings in everything on here, but I'm going to back it down a little bit because it's a little too intense to right around there. And that's our uh, that's our photo. I'm going to go ahead and group all these together here, and this will be the sun. And now you can see where we came from. This is the original, and then that's our uh, fantasy photo or our compositing. And it just, you know, it kind of brings in a cool little effect to it. You can make your own scene and, you know, it's it's hard to believe you change um, the original one of looking out into in like an inlet of an ocean to where it looks like you're looking out over a lake and it's got really nice mountains in the background and it's early morning and stuff like that. So a uh, really cool, uh, really cool tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, check out picturemonk.com for a lot of other uh, Photoshop tutorials, photography tutorials, Lightroom stuff. Uh, we got all kinds of stuff out there and uh, don't forget to pick up your straight out of camera <laughs> or straight out of camera t-shirt at picturemonk.com slash apparel. Uh, you can get that there, a bunch with other cool photography shirts. And uh, that's about it, guys. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you guys in the next video.